Empty. I'm afraid I'm a real tobacco addict. Evidence of a mind enfeebled and a will enslaved, as Oliver Wendell Holmes used to say. Do you know this? I can't do without the things. Not even here in this gorgeous countryside round about the gorge and gap. Well, I got them here in Gorchen, but when I was in the shop, I made another purchase. This, a clay pipe. It cost me twopence, and it's part, incidentally, of a consignment of about 12 groats that arrived here some 20 years ago. There are only 30 left, so it's a real vintage clay pipe. Now, as I looked at them, I began to wonder, are there many of them still smoked up here in this part of the world? How long do they last? What sort of a smoke are they? Of course, you know, the handmade clay pipe is not the only thing that belongs to the past. Another is the woman pipe smoker, a swiftly vanishing race. Now, I heard about Mary Ward, who lives up here at Ballinasalis, about three miles from Plum Bridge and eight from Straban, and who still, I'm told, enjoys the solace of a draw at her clay pipe. Uh, Miss Mary Ward? Yes. Uh, could I come in for yes, a minute? Yes, you can, surely. Thank you very come much. Come right in. Thank you. Well, Mary, it seems to be a very lonely sort of life you lead up here. It is a very lonely life. What sort of company have you at all? I've nothing but a... Three cats and a dog. Well, that's not much good, is it, really, for anybody? No, it has not. Do you do any reading at all? No, I can't read. Well, now, Mary, if you're not able to read, and with no company here but the dogs and the cats, and living away way out here on your own, what would you say is your main comfort in life? Well, all the comfort I have is a smoke out of the old clay pipe. I find it brighter. And smoking the wooden pipe. When did you begin at it? I always smoked the old clay pipe from my mother learned me when I was seven years old. Oh, how did that happen? Raising in the night time to later the pipe two or three times in the night. She smoked the pipe and you had to fill it for her? Yes, I had. And you've been at it ever since? I've been at it ever since. How much would you smoke in the week, say? Well, I would smoke three ounces in the week. Mm -hmm. If I'd have it and sometimes I wouldn't have it. I wouldn't be fit afford to buy it. Supposing you run out of tobacco now, what happens? I take a draw of tea. Thank you very much, Mary, for the crack that you've given me here this afternoon. And because I know what it's like to be without a cigarette, I have brought you along here three pipes. There you are. And a bit of tobacco for yourself. I think it's the sort of smoke. Thank you for the plug. Thank you, Mary. And Thank you very much. Not at all. Now I'll be on my way. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.